Local hospitals are taking action against companies they say are fueling the opioid crisis in Arkansas. KNWA's Andrew Epperson joins us in studio. And Andrew, why do the hospitals want these uh, companies to pay for the cost of the epidemic? Yeah, an attorney who represents the hospitals tells me there's not an exact number being asked for just yet. But in a more than 300-page Washington County Circuit Court complaint, the hospitals say the cost of overdose and medical treatment should be covered by opioid marketers and distributors. They intentionally and falsely marketed the, uh, these opioids for daily use, you know, for daily chronic pain, when they knew that that's not what they were, they were designed for. Attorney Thomas Thrash is on the team representing the Northwest Arkansas hospitals, including the Northwest System and the Fayetteville and Salem Springs Hospital companies, suing more than 40 companies involved in the manufacturing, distribution, and sale of opioids. He says high-profile groups like Purdue Pharma, Johnson & Johnson, and Abbott Labs purposefully turned a blind eye to a growing opioid crisis in Arkansas. And I guess just through corporate greed, they caused the opioid epidemic that we're now in today. Arkansas take back stats show Arkansas is number two in the nation for opiate overprescription. Okay, Paul. Dr. Randy Conover is a family physician in Centerton. There's just extra pills around for others to use it in non-prescription use and to defeat addictions. He says opioids do have benefits when used correctly. Not everyone gets addicted when they use an opioid, but some can, and many do. But Thrash says the argument that doctors played a role in overprescription is also true. But that pharmaceutical companies knew they were sending too many meds to Arkansas and didn't stop. They have little red flags that, that give them an indication that there's a problem here. There's too many, too many opioids. We're, we're shipping too many into this pharmacy. We're shipping too many into this county. We're shipping way too many into this state. I reached out to many of the companies listed in the claim. So far, none have responded. Thrash says it's up to Judge John Threed in Washington County to decide how long it'll be before the case moves forward. Live in studio, Andrew Epperson, KWA Northwest Arkansas News.